I thought this subject might be of interest, seeing as a lot of catacetinae will be waking up or have already woken up and are progressing. Why catacetinae growth fail? Personally, I've never had a catacetin growth fail ever. It was always like, woohoo, new growths, it's go time. In my setup with LECA and self-watering, I have to be a little bit more, you know, on the wetter side. I don't let my LECA ever dry out. I do keep the reservoir empty, but the microfiber is always wet. So this is how I overwinter my catacetums. And the Alliance, Cygnodes, Mormodes, Fred Clark Yaras, all of those. So yes, I was a little bit surprised. We're very happy to see my Jumbo Mickey starting to wake up. There's a growth down in the node down there and one in the middle. And I was like, okay, well, the middle one will find its way. If not, it has plenty of energy with all the bulbs here. Surprise, surprise. Very quick video, but I'm sure that this could be of help to anybody that's growing them. Let me know if you've had similar experiences. Just want to put that out there because I have not seen many Cygnodes fail in their growths on the internet. So if you have a similar case and it's happening to you, let me know and let me tell you why this has happened to me this time around. All my mature Cygnodes are on the top shelf on the east side of my rack where currently all the top guns are living. It's the hottest, the brightest, and they're right on top because of the size of the growth that they develop. They live up there, they get a full light in the mornings for about four hours, and then there's a little cover above them and then bit by bit shade will come. But super high light, the reflecting walls, everything is white. And then I leave them up there until the growths are mature enough for me to start filling the reservoir with fertilizer, etc., etc. Right, that's out of the way. Now, but you can see, before those cygnodes, there's a grouping of orchids that also need high light. And I go up there with my sprayer to make sure that the surface of the media, the leka, isn't too dry or too hot for too long. And I missed that area. And lo and behold, behind one of those orchids, when I was misting, because I don't take my stairs, I don't go up, I just take my sprayer and, you know, do it where I think it needs to be done. Residue mist has hit these growths. And that is why they failed. As stonking, as solid, as massive, as big and robust these orchids seem to be, in the very, very early stages of their growth, they are nothing else but delicate. So if you have this problem, I would like to know if you have similar experiences that you got the growths wet by mistake, or in my case, I just thought everything was just going fine. I didn't need to watch out. I have not done anything different in the past years, but because of the fact that there was so much wind recently, I've been repeating the application on the top shelf for all the other orchids, the misting, more regular than I have in the past years when it hasn't been so windy. And then this happens. So, similar experiences, or what happened to your new growths on catacetinae if you lost them in the past. This is not an issue for the orchid. You can see how many bulbs she has. It's just going to find another way to grow more nubbins and then I'm just going to have to be more careful. And I now have this one on the lowest shelf, tucked away in the back because clearly it's not growing. It doesn't need much light. Eventually, it'll wake up again. Maybe the bulbs won't be as big for the rest of the season as they normally would be. But these are the things that, you know, at least with the catacetums, you know, you haven't killed the entire orchid because two growths have failed. There's plenty going on and there will be more growths coming. But I wanted to put that out there, catacetum season, beware how you water. Do not water from the top until the growths are big enough that they can actually handle the water, which I do then also regularly. I wash them down every day with plain RO water to keep the happy sap in check. But by that time, they are very big, they've leafed out. At this stage, no, no water at all. Quick video, but it could be important. So I hope that this was helpful. 
I wish you a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. I hope to see you in the next video as well. Bye.